We journeyed to Stephen Runs in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica to catch up with Mr. Polly Barnes. Now he's one of the individuals here in St. Elizabeth who knows a lot about traditional medicine. And for centuries here in Jamaica, our foreparent has been using plants to treat everyday illnesses. And today we're going to learn a little more about some of these plants. You're watching Shan Zen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Welcome to my channel and I hope you will enjoy today's video. Alright guys, so welcome back to Shan Zen Zen Jamaican Vibes. So we're on our way to visit Mr. Polly Bonds. Um, I did a video with him before and I promised part two of the video. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Yeah, not bad. All right, so this is Mr. Polly Bonds, everyone. And of course, he's one of the persons here in St. Elizabeth that knows a lot about medicinal herbs and plants um, to treat various diseases and illnesses. So today he's going to show us some more. He showed us um, some plants that, that we can use for everyday illnesses um in the previous video but now he's going to show us some more plants all right so which one is this you have in your hand this one uh is a penny wrinkle good for, for pressure pressure uh -huh. and it's called what penny wrinkle penny wrinkle uh -huh. okay yeah. and this is what it looks like right okay all right yeah Which one you have now? This one is the monkey figure. Monkey figure? Yeah, it, it has been a lot of milk in it that's good for the, the heart and the kidney. Okay, heart and kidney. All right. So how is this one used? Because you, you boil it and drink it. Yeah, but you don't boil it for too long, right? For 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And this bush, you, you said in the video before that you don't add anything to it, you just boil it and drink just it. Boil it and drink it. Oh, okay. And if you want sugar, sugar, you use honey. Oh, okay. If you want a little sweet, now you use honey. Right. Yeah. right. Okay, so we're going to follow him and see what else he has. This is a guinea grass, you drop the, the root. Right. And you cut half about you cut it to seven inches and boil it and mix it with the white rum and drink it. It's oh. good for pain. For pain? Yeah. So say it again, you um you pull you up the root. Pull pull up the root, cut right. it off about seven inches. Right. And you boil it and you mix it with the white rum mm -hmm. and it cure you for the pain. Okay. That's the rain of your white room. Mm. So we're just going to follow him around the house, around the yard and see what else he has. But this man I know have a lot of herbs. Everybody in St. Elizabeth know him, you know. Uh, and this is the kidney weed. Okay. This is the kidney weed. Mm -hmm. That's good for the kidney. Okay. Clean the kidney and the liver. Okay. And this is boil as well. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we're moving further along to some other bushes. What is this one called? Parsley. Okay. This is. This is good for the heart. Mm. And if it had hole. If you have hole in your heart, yeah, right? You just boil it and drink it. Okay, and I see. You, and you can juice it and mix it with honey and take three spoonfuls a day. Oh, so how long would you take this for? Yeah, as you, as you, you can take it for, for, for two months or so. Okay, as much as you need it. Uh, uh, All right. right. Good, good, good information. And disclaimer guys, so if you have any, um, if you're on medication or anything like that, you know you have to ask 
seek your doctor's advice before you use any of these herbal bushes that we're showing you today. This is a water grass. Yes. Good for the blood. Clean oh. the blood. Okay. And you get energy. Okay. Water grass. Yeah. Okay. You have um green skin mango man. Yeah man. Yeah, yeah. And the one you ripe. This is the milky weed. Right. Called it white head. Yes. That is very good for the whole system. Oh your whole um yeah. body, right. Uh -huh. If you drink it, mm -hmm. boil it and drink it. You get a lot of energy. Okay. I mean, clean okay. the blood as well. What is it called again? Pinky white head. Pinky white head. Right. Well, first, me and me here, some of them name here. <laughs> I like that name, Pinky white head. This is the lamb shade. Yes, we saw the lamb shade before. Yeah. Yes. Tell them about the lamb shade, man. Lamb shade is a fever. Yes, yes. Lamb shade. You boil the lamb shade for fever, guys. And this is a redhead plant. Redhead, yeah. That's good for asthma mm -hmm. and cold. When yes. You juice it and mix it with honey. Mm -hmm. If you need sugar. Okay, okay. All right, so you have some more down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one is a catch burr. Good, catch burr. Yeah, good for your eyesight. Juice it out mm -hmm. and mix it with a little salt light. Okay. And chew it in your eye. Okay. Yeah. So what does it do exactly? It helps you to see clearer? Yes, clearer. Cut out the cataract and all that. Oh, oh. And it's called catch burr? Yes. Okay. Uh, hmm, very interesting. Yes. Catch barrel. Oh, so he's looking for some more plants. Gonna see what he can actually this find. This is a white head. Mm -hmm. for, for any scratching or any bone to come on this body. Okay, okay. Uh, you have a bout in it. Right. And it removes all the scratching on it. Probably it, it removes the itch, it stops the itching. Yes. Right, so it stops the itching. Right. All right. Okay. He's finding some more bushes. Yeah, and this is a dark tongue. The? Yeah, that's good for women, period. Mm hmm. You boil it and drink it. Okay, so for menstrual cramps and so. Right. During right. okay okay during yeah. the time of the month all yeah. right and what is it called again dog tongue dog tongue right it has another name no oh dog tongue right. mm. and we can't hear this this is a can here mm -hmm. also good for woman period okay and I heard that it's good for fever too. Mm -hmm. Corn here, they boil the corn here for right. fever. Mm -hmm. This is the low Madam Faith. Low Madam Faith, let me get a close up look at that, this plant. Oh, okay. It is good for the heart. Mm -hmm. That have hole. Okay. And you boil it and drink it. Boil it and drink it as well. All right. It, it is called the Low Madam Faith. Low Madam Faith. Interesting name. These bushes have some real interesting name. All right. So as I said, guys, he's one of the individuals in Saint Elizabeth that um a lot of persons, especially on the south side, is familiar with because he knows all the bushes, all the plants and to treat is, various disease. And this is a clearing. Yeah. That good for women. Right. If women have infection and things like that, you just boil this and drink it. Okay, okay. Clary. Yeah. 
Let me get a close up look at the clary bush. Okay. All right. You have another one there. Yeah. This is the iron weed. Iron weed. Yeah, that's good for the blood and the heart. Okay. And the cramps and so, it remove it. Iron weed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And also, this is the... Pranganat. This, this is also the pranganat. Yes. That's good for your sex drive. Oh, okay. <laughs> You think pranganat is just a fruit or we just and, eat, and but good, it actually... And good for your nerves. Oh, it's good for nerves. Right. Oh, boil okay. it with the skin. Mm -hmm. uh, and you mix it with a little honey and drink it. Oh, okay. Uh, Very interesting. Uh, pranganat. This one seems like it's ripe. Is it ripe? Mm -hmm. This pranganat is ripe? Mm-hmm. Look right in see. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. And this is a, this is a strong back. Strong back. Yeah, that good for your back. Okay. Yeah, any pain or any, anything like that. Strong back. Yeah. So this is what strong back well, look they call like. They call it double gut. Double gut, right? Uh, okay. So as you hear, he said before, guys, you just boil these bushes. And you don't have to add any sweetener, but if you have, um, if you, you know, some people can't really manage the taste of some of these bushes, so you can add a little honey. Um, that's what he said. If you want a little sweetener, this is the Guinean weed. Yes, it de can detox you, mm -hmm. and it's also it is good to remove the cancer cell. Okay, Guinean weed. Uh -huh. Okay, I see. This is a... Uh, this, this is the womb bush. Womb bush? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we saw that one in the previous video. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. So this one you said good for you. Um, remind yeah. them again. Uh, this one is a womb bush. Yes. And you boil it and drink it, mm -hmm. and you have the baby without pain. <laughs> and you said you, you remind me that your mom. Uh, yes, yes. Tell me the story again. I have 19 of us. Right. And I did see you. Okay. Uh, I should never feel up here. All right. <laughs> the womb bush. <laughs> oh, thank you. You find more prom gonad. Thanks. This is this is the aloe vera. Mm -hmm. That good for, for your stomach. Mm -hmm. And it also detox it. Yes. And it good for dangerous. Oh. In the ear. Okay, yes, yes. Aloe vera. I have a whole lot of aloe vera man. This is the leaf of life. Mm -hmm. That good for cold mm -hmm. and fever clean up the mucus out of this body. Okay. Leaf of life. Yeah. Good for cold and fever and clean up mucus out of the body. Right. Alright, let's get a close-up of the leaf of life. Okay. So this is a plant, a leaf of life plant. Right? Two plants next to each other. These are some sweet pepper, sucker. Oh, okay. Right? And these are tomato sucker. Okay. Right? So you're gonna do some farming? Yes, yes. Okay. What are these fine ones? These are garden eggs. Oh, garden eggs. Yeah. Okay. So you're a farmer too? Yeah, man. So we want to see the farm um, little from now, man. Yeah? We want to see the farm little from now. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Where's your farm? See me, I do. That piece of land with the boom and corn, bean, and round the egg. See the pumpkin there? Oh, this is your pumpkin? Mm hmm. Oh, so you just have a small little farm going on. Right, and that one has about four pumpkins. 
Oh, you have one pumpkin here. Yeah. So you, you have your plant up your, your vegetables and your fruit yes, still. Uh, that what one is about about four. Oh, okay. Probably be about six months. Oh yeah? Yeah. One of them? Yeah. Okay, so so what you say you have in the garden? Come show us your garden. Your little garden. Gungu. Oh you have gungu plant up over there? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh yes, I see the gungu trees. The little gungo plant coming up. Right. Yeah, like the roof. Okay, and you plant some corn over there right. too. I see the corn. These are gungo trees. So them gungo here now go ready until um year end, right? From in April to get the gungo. And you, interestingly, you have plum tree here as well. Yes. There's uh, a red one on the tree right yes. there. Oh sure, thank you. <laughs> so he's picking a plum for me, red plum. Thank you. Alright. That is God. Okay, so you have a few plants of garden egg in your garden as well. And your corn. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 We plant up a few okra too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have okra. You have um corn and you have um gungu. Oh you have some cassava too? Okay, okay, okay. You plant up your little little things. Right. Mm -hmm. This is the the broad leaf of <laughs> water grass. Mm -hmm. That is good for cool. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. You boil it and drink. Okay, okay, okay. Lovely. Yeah. That is also good for cold and the stomach. Okay. Uh, you boil it and drink it. Periwinkle? Yeah. Okay. Good for baby also. Oh. Uh, baby can have it? Yes. So what is it good for for the baby? Cool. Okay, you can give baby for uh, cold. Uh, you boil it and give it. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is what the plant looks like. Periwinkle. You have all kind of fruit trees here too man. You have oh, cherries. Cherry. Oh yes. Cherry bearing. Okay. Man, you have all kind of fruit trees. You have a whole lot of cherries on this tree, man. Mm-hmm. Well this is the amount the right on your part. Thank you. Yeah, that is. Mm-hmm. Make some nice cherry juice. Mm -hmm. I don't even have space in my hand to hold. I, don't, I need a bag. <laughs> I need a bag for these cherries. Look there, guys. Jamaican cherries. Oh, you plant up little scallion. So you have your every little thing. Yeah, pumpkin. And a And cocoa. Mm-hmm. That was this cocoa plant from last year. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have cocoa and tomato. Right. Mm. Mm. The whole of the garden here, you know, is uh, gungu. Okay. Uh, gungu and bean. A whole lot of gungu. Look at that mangoes and that tree. Mm -hmm. It's climbing up the um, gungu tree. <laughs> A young one that's true, the old one. Mm-hmm. Next year, no, plant up the bean. Oh, okay. Baby pumpkin coming up. 
banana tree as well. Look nice. This is a sweet sap. Okay, yeah, man. Tree. Right. Branch. Mm hmm. And you boil it as steam in the morning and evening. Mm hmm. And we give you a lot of energy and clean up everything. Yeah, man. No I, and so forth. I remember my grandma used to boil this a lot for us. Yeah. But I didn't, I just, we just drank it as tea. She didn't really tell us what it was for. Yeah, yeah. So it's clean good. Up the and all. Oh, okay. Sweet sap leaf. Okay. This is a nasal. Nasal. Right, that's good for cold. Okay. Nasal. Yeah. Interesting name. And also good for prostate cancer. Oh, it's good for prostate cancer? Yeah. And this also, you just boil it, right? Right. Okay. Very interesting. Needle? Needle. Needle. Oh, needle. Okay, okay. Blossom. Yellow. Right. It's good for prostate cancer and cold. Okay. Okay. This one is is indigo. Mm -hmm. One of the indigo. Okay. But they call it rice bitters. Rice bitters. Yeah, which is good for fungus. Oh. Any ringworm or any fungus are dangerous in the air. Okay, okay. So, so, so you wash, you boil, you boil it you, and wash it. Yeah. You here with it? No, you don't boil it. You just rub it up on the water. Oh. And wash your head. Oh, okay. Uh, you can use it as it is mm -hmm. and rub the ringworm and then the fungus. Okay, so you probably would squeeze up the leaf and then rub right. it on the ringworm. Right. What is it called again? Inigo. Inigo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of these bushes we see all around the yes. yard and we actually don't know that they have use. They can be used to treat diseases and sicknesses and fungus. This All type of things. This is the Mantiaba. Mantiaba. Right. Uh huh. Right. So what is good for now? Clear it out. Okay. It's good for the stomach or any mucus in the system. Yaba. Oh, Mantiaba. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Get the pronunciation yeah. right, Shanzen Zen. Mantiaba. All right, this is what it looks like. Mantiaba. And this is the vervine. Yes, yes. That good for man and woman. Mm -hmm. This is also good for the carrot. The virus? Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. It have been iron in. Okay, okay. And the body need iron. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. So you boil it and drink it. How much time you drink this Three product? times a day. For the virus? Yeah. Okay guys, so and remember he's no doctor, disclaimer here, but um I was told by some persons who had the virus that they drank this and this actually helped. So maybe you can check it out for yourself. And this is called the vervine. Right. Yes, the vervine. No. Yeah, this is the bamboo. Yes. That's uh, good for sugar. For persons with diabetes? Yeah. Okay. Boil it and drink. Okay, and just lower the blood sugar. Right. Okay. So this is for persons with high blood sugar. Right. Right, because you have, you know, di in diabetes, you yeah. have high blood sugar and low. Yeah. So the persons with high blood sugar would drink this to lower their blood sugar. Mm. All right. Right. Bamboo. Yeah. Mm hmm. And there's a lot. There's there's a lot more plant like the dogwood and the, and the the, the buttwood right and the, the logwood heart mm -hmm. uh, and the tambourine there's a lot more there's a lot more right and the catch of sap and the merengue yeah but because time is against us 
we have to go in before the curfew. The curfew. Right. All right, guys. So we have learned a lot today. It's a whole lot of trees, plants, herbs that's out there that we don't know that are actually beneficial to the human health. And um, Mr. Polybonds has shown us some today. He has taught us a lot today. Actually, he's taught me a lot because some of these plants I didn't really know that they could be used to treat these illnesses. So thank you so much for sharing that with us, uh, Mr. Polybonds. Thank you very much. Yes, and um, his information will be in the description of the video and I will also pin it in the comment section. So, you know, if you have any questions or queries, you can contact him and he'll answer them for you because he also sells um, bush medicine. Um, he bottles it and sells it. Yeah. So, right? So you can get in contact with him for more information on that. So guys, that's it for now from here in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. So until next time, walk good and make good doppy walk <laughs> with you. <laughs> uh.